Hey, what's going on guys? It's Combo here. Welcome back to some more Black Ops 2 Wii U footage. I'm bringing you guys a Domination here on Raid. I think Raid's one of the best maps for Domination or just any, you know, objective game type in Black Ops 2. It's a pretty good map overall, but I'm bringing you guys a gameplay with the Vector here. You can see uh, I'm using some higher score streaks again. This one is the UAV, the AGR, and the Warthog. Now, this... You know, this is a, another question and answer video, but usually, you know, high scoring gameplays go with the question and answer videos, but this one's a bit different. It's not that high scoring in terms of kills. I only get like 45 or 43, something like that, but I do get 10 captures in this gameplay, and it's a pretty intense, um, you know, gameplay in terms of capturing objectives and all that kind of stuff. So I do hope you guys enjoy it. And before we get into the video here, I just wanted to ask you guys if you had any questions for me and my girlfriend, we will be doing a video together, kind of like a dual commentary thing, I guess. But we'll be answering some of your guys' questions, so if you guys are interested in learning about us, I guess, you could ask pretty much anything, uh, just nothing like too personal. Um, or, you know, you can try to ask something personal, but I guess we just won't answer it. I don't know. It depends, um, you know, which ones I think would, would be good to answer and, and stuff, and we'll make a dual commentary soon. Maybe she'll show her face. She's kind of scared to get made fun of, so... Uh, we'll see so just um, you know if you have any questions leave them in the comments below or like I said send me a message and the next question and answer episode will actually be with my girlfriend or one of the upcoming ones because we're trying to get get together soon and make it so I'll try to get her to play and we'll record some gameplay of her of her playing on, on Black Ops 2 or whatever so I think that would be pretty funny uh, to see and watch and all that kind of stuff and like I said you know it should be one of the videos upcoming hopefully within the next few weeks and all that kind of stuff so yeah guys if you have any of those questions just uh, leave them below let's get right into the questions here if you guys have any questions for me as always leave them in the comments below or send them uh, send me a message on YouTube whatever you guys want to do let's get right into it the first one here is do I have a Nintendo 3DS or have I ever played one and nope I don't own one and I don't even play I have never even played one I'm just not really a big fan of handheld you know consoles or handheld video games or anything like that but I did have a Game Boy Advance and a Game Boy Color back in the day like when I was really young I think before I even started like gaming on the Wii or something like like it was obviously before that but um, I had the Game Boy Color, I had the Game Boy Advance, but those were really the only handheld things. My sister had a PSP, the PlayStation Portable, so I played a little bit of that uh, once in a while, but, you know, as for the 3DS or, and stuff like that, no, I've never, I've never had one. And, um, you know, it's curious, the 2DS has been announced, if you guys have seen that, so if you, you know, if you're going to buy that, let me know. It's going to be interesting to see how many, how many people are going to go out and buy that, so pretty interesting you know little thing that they came up with with the 2ds so thanks for the question the next one is what made me want to start YouTube and I don't really remember 100% all the details but I, I know for sure that it was because um, I started I made a YouTube account and I wasn't really sure of what the name should be so I just made it anyway and I kind of started just looking at Call of Duty videos, I guess, online, kind of like what most of you guys did when you first looked up Call of Duty videos on YouTube. Uh, I don't really know how it happened, but I guess I just was curious to, to look it up and, and all that kind of stuff, or maybe I was looking up some you know, cheat codes or something like that, but one way or another, I found myself watching some Call of Duty videos, and eventually I found my way to some Machinima videos, some Machinima respawn videos. And I subscribe. started subscribing to them and channels that posted on there. Uh, a few bigger commentators um, that were posting on Machinima Respawn. And s soon I started to get to know a little bit of the commentators that, that were posting. I started subscribing, obviously. And, um, you know, from there I think that they just kind of... Watching those videos kind of just made me want to start my own and try, try to do it myself. So I eventually just went out and bought a Dazzle capture card. And I posted some gameplay of uh, Call of Duty 4 up until the release of Black Ops uh, 1 on the Wii, and that's when I kind of started really getting into YouTube. So, I guess it was just um, the main the main factor. I guess was just watching the videos from Machinima Respawn and from the directors who already started uploading it. So I guess it was just a combination of that and those guys kind of inspired me or or made me want to make my own videos and all that kind of stuff. And as well as that. I always wanted to kind of share my my gameplays. Sometimes epic things would happen, or things that I thought would be cool to show off uh, to to my friends or whoever to, wanted to see them. And uh, that's kind of how I, how I started. So just a combination of those two things, I guess. 
were the two main factors um, in starting it and yep so that was it thanks for the question another one here is will I ever consider running for president and nope I don't consider running for president I think that is too much responsibility and I don't really know what goes on with the government and all that kind of stuff if the president is actually the one making all the decisions but you know getting into some government conspiracy type stuff here but I don't really know I don't think I'd be interested in running for president I think it's just too much for me um, I'm not really a person who wants that kind of power or responsibility for that matter but it would be interesting to see um, you know what kind of stuff goes on behind the scenes I guess you could say of the government like well, all the secrets and conspiracies and aliens and all that kind of stuff <laughs> I'm just kidding, but um, yeah, it would be cool to see what what we're hiding, I guess, what secret government stuff and agencies and all that kind of stuff. I don't even know if the president president knows all of it, but um, yeah, I just thought I just thought it would be pretty cool to do that. But nope, I wouldn't I wouldn't consider running for president. I mean, it would be it would be probably crazy, but you know, I I wouldn't. But the next one is, will I ever start up the My Me to Your We series again? And uh, for those who don't know what it was, it was pretty much a series that my sister actually did and commentated over and edited and all that kind of stuff. So it was pretty much her videos that she uploaded to my channel. Um, and what it was is making uh, Wii characters or me characters on the Wii U and showing you how to make some different type of people, I guess. Um, she did Barack Obama, she did Mitt Romney, Mario, Luigi. Uh, Slender Man, a few other people, and she got she kind of got bored of it. She got kind of um, you know it was monotonous, I guess you could say for her. Uh, but she she doesn't plan on starting it up again. I mean, a lot of people liked it. It was actually a pretty pretty popular series, and I'll I'll see maybe if she will you know get it started up again and all that kind of stuff. If you guys want to see it, but it is a lot of editing for her because she's a perfectionist and she pretty much wants everything done perfectly so it takes a while for her to edit it and all that kind of stuff and she doesn't really want me to help but it's up to her maybe I can do them myself if um, you know if I'm actually good at it I mean I'm not artistic at all and she is uh, she's pretty creative and all that kind of stuff so she would probably be better suited to do that but uh, if you guys want to see it, maybe I'll look into it. Maybe I'll ask her to start it up again or just make an episode every once in a while when she has time. Um, but just let me know, and I'll definitely try to bring that series back if that's something you would be interested in seeing. So, thanks for the question here. The next question here comes from NoobShot62. He asked, if Infinity Ward and Treyarch were to update an old Call of Duty, which one would I pick and why? It's a pretty interesting question. Um, I would either pick World at War or Modern Warfare Reflex. I'd probably have to go with uh, World at War because um, that game was a lot of fun. Now, actually, I'm thinking more of Reflex. Now, it's it's a tough decision between those two games because the main thing I would fix on both of them is the lag shooting, obviously. But um, Black Ops, you know, it had patches and all that kind of stuff. So the major things were, were patched at the beginning, and there's nothing really that I would like to see changed. Um, but... Like I said, you know, either Call of, Call of Duty 4 or World at War would be the ones that I pick. And even though not many people still play them, it would be fun to go back and play those games without lag shooting. And it would be kind of a completely different game. So I would pick that. That's an interesting question. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. The gameplay is wrapping up here, uh, coming towards the end of this domination match. If you guys have any more questions, um, let me know in the comments below. Like I said in the beginning of the video as well, if you have any questions for me and my girlfriend, we'll be doing a dual commentary or a video soon. And, you know, just if you have all those all those questions or whatever, uh, just let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day, and I'll see you all later. Peace.